gonna be 23. Game one against the A's here. started. Hello and welcome to Oakland. We're at Ring Central Coliseum. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Oakland Athletics. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Michael Massey. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Just about set to go and towing the slab. Ken Waldachuk. Chris, what are you looking for from game him? one? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Ready to go now. Now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Fastball in for a strike, and that's how this series begins. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And there's the ball. Swing and a miss, Ooh. struck him out. Had him way wow. out front of the slur. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole that field. He was out in front there, just needs it. to let the ball travel yeah. a little more, and his timing will be back Rojas. on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Josh Rojas. Swing and a miss. Oh, right. Strike one. He takes a strike. Up the there middle. On the run, throw to first. Got him. Two up, That's two high. down. Pat and the center fielder, number 10. Good hustle. Brian Blank. Reynolds. Brian Reynolds here. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. That one ripped, but foul. Two outs. Late that time, it's strike two. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Going to now. Laced down the go. line. Could be extra bases. He puts it in his pocket. Safe at first without a play. Massey with a relay throw. Batting four to the shortstop. O'Neill. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He's someone that really beats up on right handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swing and a miss, struck him out. 
I got used to this, dude. So one left for Pittsburgh, and the A's will get uh, their first opportunity. Yeah, I'm going to go one, two, three out here. Back here in the East Bay, and on the mound in this one, Luis Severino. He touched the ninth inning his last time out, really wanted the complete game, didn't get it, but he did get the W. They'd love to see him pitch deep into this one Leading again. Off Leading off at Alberto no, Mondesi. At He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Yep. There's a strike. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Severino. Looked like oh. it was a little bit up. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground to the left, Hayes. Tosses across the first. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the ship. And now, Este Yuri Ruiz. And first offering is fouled off. Severino, when you talk about his skill set, he stops teams from getting hits. That's the thing that he's so good at. He's just really difficult to get base hits against. Severino kicks deals. A little bit low. Well, he's got power, and he has a reputation of being a strike thrower. So to his advantage, he can expand the zone. Now a check swing, but he held up. He can throw that fastball slightly above the top of the strike zone to get hitters to chase. He can also break it off because when you're geared up for good velocity, it's hard to stay back. You have to make a decision really early. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now here's the A's catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. And first offering is fouled off. So what's the approach from an offensive perspective against a guy that doesn't give up a lot of hits? Yeah. I think you just kind of have to lean out over the plate and, you know, take your base. But seriously, you, you just have to try to shorten up. I think guys choking up on the bat a little bit to have some more bat control, be a little bit quicker, and don't get greedy. Batting four, the center fielder. Justin Hester up next for the A's. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Left hand batter waits. Hacks and misses. Yeah, baby. It's a strikeout. The A's strand one. We played an inning, no score. Back in Oakland, and now Leading it's Garrett Cooper up to him. The first baseman, Garrett Cooper. And a pitch. Slider oh. misses outside. One oh. And that one fouled off. Here's a 1 1. Ripped on a line. There's a good one. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Oh, I'm sure he feels that really good, good about that one. When you connect base. and it jumps off your We're bat like play. that, you're thinking yeah. double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Digging in, Rodolfo Castro.
That one ripped. Oh, man. This one's got a chance. Yeah, baby. That yeah. one is gone. Nah. Sweet. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 2-0. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay up next for the Pirates Connor Joe first pitch Whoa. doesn't find the zone it can be tough to bounce back after a big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning And the 1 0. Gets him to chase after that one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. To the right side. Oh, he gloves it to first. Nicely He's done out. for the out. Batting eight. The catcher, Henry Davis. And now the catcher comes up to him. Henry Davis. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Slice to right. And foul ball. One down, base is empty. This one popped oh, up. Foul ground, first base side. Makes the grab after a long run. And there are two outs. The right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Two outs, base is empty. Andrew McCutcheon now at the plate. Okay. Hit hard on the ground is short. Slings to first. Out. That ends the frame. Cannonball coming. Yeah, it's now baby. a two-nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at the ballpark, Leading here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. The second baseman. Michael. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Sneaks through, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at that bat. Got the top of the ball a little right bit, field. but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Connor Capel. Luis Severino, when healthy, he is one of the top pitchers in the American League. When he's going good, he's getting ahead in the count. I love that his mechanics are very simple, very repeatable delivery. And first offering is fouled off. Severino, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a two-seamer. Nobody out, runner at first. Double play ball to second. There's one. Oh! I hate when they do that, man. The first baseman, Jeremy. Jeremy. Dermis Garcia. Up next for the A's. Just toss the ball. I hit the button. That's in for a strike. Capel, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh, Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. Caught him looking for the K. Yeah, baby. Away, away, away. And clearly that was the plan right there. He just wasn't able to put it in play. And... That should tell you Hell something yeah. as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch, and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. 
Next up for the A's, Clark Elliott. Ball one, ball, no, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. And the righty deals. Swings through that. Instead of letting the hitter get his strike. arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The 1-1 one, one is one cut ball. on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One left for Oakland, and they're down 2 nothing. And welcome back. Top Leading half of the third Pittsburgh. inning, and now the, the Pirates leadoff man, Key Brian Hayes. Key Brian Hayes. The wind of the pitch. That's a slider for a strike. No Hayes, an all-star a season ago, hitting leadoff in today's game. A former first-round pick back in 2015. Fouled off down the right side. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still 0-2. Here comes a pitch. Out of line, out toward center. Hauls it in for the out. He was all over that fastball right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Josh Rojas grounded out his first time. Bunted back towards the mound. The throw to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. So digging in, Brian Reynolds. One for one with a single so far. Reynolds, 29 years old, and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Dives <laughs> for it. Got it. Yeah, Makes the play. We refer yeah. to third base as the hot corner, but that one was a hot one on the other side of the diamond. Nice job. Quickly leaving the ground. Makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Back here in the East Bay, here's a speed threat, Zach Gellar. The wind and the pitch. Strike one. No ball. One strike. That catches the corner. Severino yeah. with another strikeout. No, oh, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive That's hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. And Alberto Mondesi up to the plate. Grounded out his first time. Little chopper rolls foul. Mondesi goes six foot one, 200 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. And the right hander deals. And strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Gonna count one, one and two. two. The wind of the pitch. 
Got it by him for yeah, the K. Baby. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance no with the pitch, Number if it's one. down, that's your that's best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. Ruiz in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. In the air, right side of the infield. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And one, two, three, go the A's. They're still down. It's two zip. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, O'Neill Cruz. Cruz. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swang and a high fly ball in the air, left field. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Try to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. But no, he takes the turn and holds it for a space. It's a one-out single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Runner on at first with one gone. Rodolfo Castro, the next pirate to hit. That one's in there on one. Kicks and fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Got him swinging. Wow. Here's the left fielder, Connor Joe. Grounded out his first time up. Joe. Slapped foul. The huh. one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. And one and two. Kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Pirates leave one. They're up 2 nothing. Bottom of the fourth. Digging in for Oakland. Tyler Soderstrom. The catcher. Severino back to work. Strike right there. You know, these A's just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Castro right there to make the grab. And a quick out number one. Next for Oakland, the center fielder, Justin. Justin Hester. Hester up next for the A's. Struck out swinging his first time. One finds the corner. Strike one. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a pop up. 
Foul territory for the catcher. Davis makes the catch. Out number two. Now batting the second baseman, Michael. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Michael Massey. Single to right in his first trip. Swing and a pop-up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And the A's are gone in order. They trail it here 2-0. Ready now for the fifth Take inning. The Here's the speedy catcher, catcher, Henry Davis. Henry Davis. And a pitch. That's ripped to right down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batter, right fielder, Andrew. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Hammered down the right side, but foul. But why the kick the pitch? Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Misses oh. inside, and it's one and two. It's a good take. Swings and misses yeah. on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more baseman, fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger Hayes now at the plate as he swings through strike one Wow, no fair right there I mean that slider didn't move till the very last moment incredibly difficult to pick that up just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch this looks like extra bases takes the turn he's digging for second he's there it's a two out double well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. The manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Next to hit, Josh Rojas. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. And slider. Here comes the one. He's trying for third and fouled off. Oh, and two now. Runner on the go again. High fly ball out to center field. Hester drifts towards it and makes the grab. That is the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back in Oakland, we Way head to, to the bottom of the fifth. Eight. Now it's the right, the right fielder, fielder, Connor Capel. The pitch. And that one upstairs. You know, these athletics just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Into the outfield base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't no give in. Three. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Next up for the A's, Dermis Garcia. And first offering is fouled off.
Capel aboard here at first with nobody out. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Lifted in the air down the left side. Joe makes the catch, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able no to matter. go up Number the middle 10. the other way with some Definitely authority instead of a fly out to left. Elliot. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul straight back. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And that's oh. outside. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And yeah, the batter now, Zach Gellar. Joe has a beat on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. The A's strand one. They trail things here, 2-0. Back here at the ballpark, Leading top six. Position. Now it's the, the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Brian Waldachuk Reynolds. back to work. Late swing, fouled off. The and now the 0-1. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. One away. Up next to the Pirates, the shortstop, O'Neill. Next, it's the Pirates cleanup hitter, O'Neill Cruz. Almost drove one out of here last time up, flied out to the warning track. In there, and it's 0-1. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Just no, missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two. The punch out there, down on strikes, uh, like and he knew it. Yeah, the batter down, oh, Garrett time. Cooper. Really good piece of hitting last time, Garrett. going to the opposite Cooper. field. Cooper, 33 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2013. There's a strike. Fought off foul. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Pirates two and the A's nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Stepping in is the switch in a shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. Mondesi. And he deals. Found back our way, and that's out of play. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys 
They'll nibble just because they don't want to get ball. hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. One ball, one strike. Riding to the plate. And a foul ball. Swings and misses. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I'll tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Now here is Este Yuri Ruiz. Out to short. Oh. And he gets by him. Oh. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind Look it perfect. to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. One gone runner at first. And here's the catcher, right. Tyler Soderstrom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Got it! There it is. And he's down yeah. on strikes for the second time today. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit now to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just, just not able to put the bat Mister. on the ball. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland. Justin Hester. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Ruiz off of first with two away. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Ball. One ball. Two strikes. That one to first. He steps on the bag, oh. and the inning is yeah. over. New inning getting started at the play. Rodolfo Castro. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Domingo Acevedo appears to be getting loose. Pruitt getting loose as well. Now the 0-1. That one oh, ran one. inside, almost got him. 1-1. One, one. In the air, right field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. One down. The left fielder, number two. Now the Connor. left fielder, Connor Joe. Joe. Down 
down the right field line there and a base go. hit. There we go. There comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Ken Waldachuk is done, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Dalton Jeffries. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Jeffries. One down, and now Henry Davis. On the ground, two ball. Mondesi to second, and that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Pirates two, and the A's nothing. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. The second baseman, Michael Massey. And the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Hard ground ball, base knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Well, Couldn't get any air under it, but he yeah. smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got a great win on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So up next, Connor Capel. Lays out, but he can't oh, squeeze oh. it. Goes to second, safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. No, Garcia the up to bat next, lays no, off no. for a ball. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The pitch. Swings through that one. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Swing and a miss. Now one, one and two. No outs. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Two on, one out. And next is the designated hitter, Clark Elliott. Pitch misses ball. outside, and that one is ball no one. Time. Runners at first and second with one gone. That misses. No. Two balls, no strikes. Struggle a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Two and one now, Severino. That one fouled off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The 2-2 two -two now. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Davis makes the grab and there's two out. Now that, the third base 
Zach Geloff. Up next for the A's. There's the strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Check swing. Now we'll look down yeah, the first. Baby. And he won around. Just enough that time. Massey, the lead runner out at second. Capel at first, two out of the inning. Check swing, yeah, yeah. appeal to first. Ah, yeah. he punches him out. He won around. Yeah. yeah. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Ready to begin the eighth, and now the right fielder, Andrew right McCutcheon. Fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. And a pitch. And that one there it hammered. Is. Back there. there. It is. And gone! Yeah, baby. Way to go, Greg. Andrew Way McCutcheon blasts one out. His fourth home run of the season. It's 3-0. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Oh, one. Oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. And a pitch. No. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The pitch. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. This one smoked out to left. Ruiz pulls it down, and there's one down. Now batting, the designated hitter. Josh Rojas, the next pirate to hit. Popped up. Massey makes the grab. Two down. The center field it's definitely one of the more fun or stadiums as far as the Reynolds. crowd goes. <laughs> Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. One for three. On a line, there base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Hester settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Pirates tack on one more on the solo home run. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. There's the shortstop at the play at Alberto Mondesi. Here comes a pitch. And there's the strike. Swing and a bouncer, and he picks it up in foul territory. Popped up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Number one, Este Uri. 
Ruiz. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. No. In the air, left field. Joe has a beat on it. Squeezes it. That's out number two. Up next for Oakland, the catcher. Two Tyler. outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. To third. Whips it to first on the run. That's out number three. Way to go. Nothing doing there for the A's. Still down, three nothing. Welcome back. We go to the ninth at the plate for Pittsburgh. Garrett Cooper. Garrett Cooper. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Jeffries in his third season. He features a two seam fastball, a change up, a cutter, four seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. Makes a nice running catch. And a quick out number one. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Rodolfo Castro digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And there's two away. They're trying to get back at that. The left fielder, number two, Connor Joe. Two outs, base is empty. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. First offering and it just misses. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Next offering is in for a strike. Throwing the ball well, and they need the scoreless inning in relief right here. They're doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. Out to short. Sends it across the first, and the Pirates go one, two, three. Shut them out right here. I'm going to let dude run this whole game. Back, back here in the East Bay, here's the center fielder, Justin Hester. Hester. Severino back to work. On the ground right side. He'll do it himself. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Two more. Well, he's doing a nice now job of keeping the ball three. out of the air. Right Let's ball. the defense work behind him with another right ground ball. Three. Good execution. Michael Massey up next for the A's. And that one wrapped foul. You'll want. Swing and a miss as yeah, he's out front. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Gonna count one oh, and two. One, two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory oh. for the catcher. Makes a nice sliding catch. The Athletics down to their last out. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Capel. Outside corner, there's a strike. Right hander kicks deals. And delivers outside. 
One ball, one strike. And that one is in for a strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Next okay. offering is downstairs. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Comes a 2 2. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A shutout in this one. 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed Game one with the eight. We'll be back with game two. Here now is our.